y'all welcome back today's video is about my mini product haul half of them are like skincare hair care and there's some makeup not big deal of a makeup you know I just don't really buy a lot of like makeup makeup but there are like drugstore makeup so because it's very easy to buy to try you don't like it okay forget about it now I'll start with the product um, this I almost done with and I was uh, the other day in Sephora and I got a replacement and uh, I decided to go for a small packaging again because I don't wash it every day with this uh, I don't wash my face every day with this balm mainly I use it when I have more makeup on my face which is not very often these days so I decided to have the small one uh, also because it's just more hygienic I feel like I will finish it I'll buy again you know better than keep for a long time the big jar and constantly you know digging in your fingers so small one uh, CeraVe uh, food cream I used to have like a I think a body cream of this um, kind of a line which has a little bit of salicylic acid in here very good for dry skin but I normally used it for my feet so I decided to buy specifically fit foot cream uh, from this line really good I've been using it already for a month I'm loving it now uh, shampoo uh, hydration Moroccan oil shampoo I use it all the time this just was uh, because I finished mine you know it's very good for um, deep hydration and yeah this is my shampoo I used it all for over two years so I always need to purchase it now um, I bought the uh, Claren uh, dry shampoo actually I bought two right away I finished mine that had uh, like uh, oat milk in there but it was very soft one and I just felt like it didn't really work if I wanted like my roots were already oily it's more of a texturing or something like this but I got this one with the nettle and it's specifically targeted for oily hair when you want it to look like it's kind of been washed and I find it more effective so this one this is this is my favorite dry shampoo and now I got this by Cartier. I like Cartier uh, brand. You know, this is like a natural, like bio brand. I don't know, natural, but it's bio brand. And I use the um, uh, toner for the face. And I like the Maslow water, but Maslow water is way too soft for me if I want to take off my makeup. This one is for uh, eyes and lips. I've never tried. I still haven't, haven't tried because I'm finishing the other one that I have. For my eyes so it's for sensitive eyes uh, by face I like by face because it's more effective like it's it just takes away the makeup in a better and gentler way because it has oil infused in it fused well mixed so this is and I think it's a new one because I haven't seen it before and yeah it looks very pretty it has the rose blow cornflower and rose maybe that's why it's pink maybe it's a pink bottle I think it's rather pink bottle but anyway it's very pretty uh, I bought my favorite um, to, I don't know what happened to me I'm forgetting the words um, really toothpaste <laughs> I, I'm loving it. Actually, I still hasn't tried because I'm finishing the other that I had, but I just want to smell it because Aqua Mint, it's my drug. Like any product that has Aqua Mint, I just want to use it. That's why I like uh, shampoos by Claren with the Aqua Mint a lot as well. So this is my favorite. It's really good. Like Marvis are the, for me the best uh, toothpaste. Okay, rituals, ritual, rituals of sak sakura, um, organic rice milk and cherry blossom shower gel. It's like a foaming shower gel. I still haven't tried it. 
this one but I tried before this kind of like foaming it, it comes in like in a foam and you just lather on your skin and it's just the most beautiful experience this is one of my favorite from um, rituals and yeah beautiful I had it maybe like two years ago maybe not this one another one and I just just loving this one so much Such shower gels you know my passion for shower gels of any kind this I got thermal treatment wrap because I'm using uh, all the plaques right now and I'm leaving the number three like hair mask for the whole night I want I'm sleeping like in a wrap hair wrap and um, this is thermal treatment wrap I haven't tried yet because I was just like using my uh, warm towel especially also like a thin towel for your hair but this one is specifically targeted for this kind of a thermal treatment wrap and well let's see it's called detox and balance it's called mask i thought it was just like a wrap that i can use and reuse apparently it has some mask inside this wrap okay when i use it i'm gonna update you on this a thermal treatment wrap maybe it's like a sheet mask for your hair I thought it was just um, you know that I can use it and reuse it okay misunderstanding anyhow interesting kind of a hair mask in a wrap should be effective right yeah Okay, this is interesting this is uh, Florence by Mills and this is the glycolic acid uh, wipes I comes in the packaging I already used uh, once so the like normal your like pads that are inside there are uh, 30 30 pads okay the color beautiful lavender color it looks so pretty and this is the brand this is the granddaughter um, Bobby Brown's the the makeup artist the this brand Bobby Brown it's her uh, granddaughter and she she's like a like very young and she released her um, products line and it's called Florence by Mills and I like having a glycolic acid in the form of the face pads like this. I use it once. They're very mild. They're not very aggressive, which is good. I don't know how much percentage of glycolic acid in here, but for me it works. I have thin skin. I don't like harsh ingredients, like big percentage of glycolic acid or lactic acid or anything like this. So for the moment, I liked it as of exfoliating sometimes once per week let's see okay makeup mm, gonna talk about nails I got two products by Essence I never used uh, the product that will uh, make my nails polish dry off like in seconds I don't know why and the experience was really like I felt like I was doing the manicure in the salon because I tried this um, I don't know if there is better drops this is my first time trying them myself at home and the fact was really good my nail polish dried like in two seconds it's not like I start doing things right away but my nails were just dry and yeah it was really great now again by essence I got this cuticle remover and it worked you know I don't believe in these things like cuticle removers unless it's Christian Dior my favorite one you know that comes in a pot I love it it's like a cream either they discontinue it or sometime I didn't see it in the shops so I kind of forgot about it maybe that maybe it's back I thought okay I'm just gonna get it in essence let's see how this cuticle remover oil works it's not like an oil it's sort of like a liquid that you put for 15 seconds it's almost like you're going to the salon to make a, a manicure and they normally put you some liquid and then they simply kind of like go around with a wooden stick 
at least I prefer this kind of uh, technique and yeah and I tried it and it just was perfect of course I normally do it after a shower when my uh, nails are more soft skin around my nails more soft and then I put this liquid and it just went like this with the wooden uh, stick and that was that it was very easy it worked it looks like this but if you don't want to spend a lot of money on all this kind of product check out the essence ones so yeah okay now makeup like truly makeup i promise now i will continue with the nail polish normally it's always in the end but okay since we start with the nail product i have two nail polishes that i enjoyed very much i tried only once because like yeah i only have it for one month now this one one is by essence gel shine you know they their gel uh, nail polishes I consider literally like high-end um, quality basically same level and I do have a lot of nail polish by essence from their gel line um, like gel shine uh, line I think like wait, maybe one year ago they're form not they're formulated they uh, changed their packaging and it's more, more interesting for me I feel like like more cute yeah like one year ago so I got this one uh, in um, in naughty <laughs> okay funny name um, very nice dusty pink color but more intense not like on the pale side I don't have it right now but I have the the one another one that I got from ma 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 I thought it was, I don't know why I thought it was Malva, not Mavala, because I'm dyslexic, I suppose. Now, and it's in Edinburgh. Very nice, beautiful olive. I love this, especially for, um, actually it's my normally autumn color, but I just wanted to have it anyway, because I, 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 I need to have options of all colors. And I didn't have it in my collection anymore. So yeah, I have two nail polishes. I have... I'm just gonna finish with Essence because there are several Essence products. Mm, I have like um, three brow situation here. Uh, Essence were smart. They came up with uh, two new products, brow products, or even three, but I didn't get everything. I wanted to try a couple. Okay, this one I always get. They are brow um how you call it a make me brow mascara i got this one that is really good actually i did my brows with this uh, product today it's brow pomade plus brush in one it's fantastic actually it has this brush here you can literally draw your eyebrows with this and this is pomade it's in this thing it's here and you just do with the brush like this and then you simply draw your eyebrows or you can depending what you want to do with your brows you can use this kind of like a tip or if you want to go all over your brows for the color you can kind of like tip like the whole thing and you just go like all, all over your brows I mean it's fantastic you can you can do so many things with this like to draw your point of your um, eyebrow like many things and it's so handy and you don't need a special separate uh, brow gel and separate brush you have it all at one and I mean travel friendly for the future and yeah it's perfect i liked it the product that i didn't like is this one it was really i i, I didn't get it like they wanted to do something it's called like semi-permanent yes it sticks to your brows like as a permanent color they tried to replicate something like i think clinique has it or even like i don't know or benefit it has like a three little tips kind of a brush and but 
it's sort of like the product is supposed to be, I guess, I don't know, inside. I think I used it many three times and then it was dry. Like it doesn't really paint or draw or anything. I mean, I didn't like it. And I, and the brush is a bit like, I don't know, stiff. Like, it, no, whatever. Don't buy this product. Um, as since I got, I never saw these lip liners. I only saw their, or I saw them, I forgot about it, but I only saw like a pencil. And this is a rollout and it has a very nice opaque packaging. I love this color and I find it very long lasting. Even under the mask, beautiful pink color. I don't, I don't have it right now on my lips though because I have a lipstick that I'm gonna show you. But it's really nice pink color. And I remember once I just kind of like fill in my lips with this color and put my Maybelline, you know, my favorite baby lip uh, gloss and it just was perfect it was such a nice pretty pink color and it stayed for a long time on my lips and it's in uh, i still have the unforgettable number three check it out i mean really good and inexpensive like all essence is now i got their new uh, mascara lash tinting complex it's volumizing and strengthening. I used it only once though. Also, I don't have it right now on my eyelashes. Forgot. It looks like this. They have several, they have two or three new uh, mascaras. I don't know. I felt like it was pretty mild for, for volume, like to call it volumizing. But let's see, it will, it's called tintening. It means that it actually written that if you use it for a longer period of time, your uh, eyelashes will be kind of uh, naturally more dark. Probably I should test it this way. Maybe one eye for a month with this mascara, another eye with another mascara. And let's see, maybe my eyelashes will be darker. And maybe, maybe I will do this testing. It will be interesting. If I do it, I will let you know what happens. Anyhow, this is what it is. Now I have, oh, I have from Becca, but it's a, I repurchased the second time. I already had the set. Uh, in Sephora, they have this mini set. They are um, highlight in uh, opal. The, um, the, like this, the kind of, uh, the powder one. It's, it's my, one of my favorite. It has a champagne um, color and they're liquid one. I love it. I mix it with the, it's a new one. I still haven't used it. Um, mine is like done. You cannot dig it out anymore. Actually, I need to do the empties. I have so many empties from makeup, from products, from like everything. I don't know how on earth for the past two months, I just finished pretty much half of my everything. Well, not half of my makeup products, but products. So I need to do the empties. Maybe even next time I'll do the empties because I just want to throw away all those empty bottles. <laughs> so yeah, I got this too. These are shadows I really like. They're creamy by Max Factor and X the Excess Shimmer. I got in this really pale pistachio color. Very moussey like and on the eyes they go almost like a... They have like a golden glitter in that, not glitter, but like, you see, it's here. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's very, they're very nice on the, on the eyes. It, the quality is really good and it's in a color, a uh, pearl. So it kind of looks like greenish, but it kind of has this pearlescent tint of green, but yeah. Another eyeshadow that I'm so loving, it's by Revlon, it's the cream eyeshadows in uh, chocolate something. There is no color. Anyhow, it's like, a, I think it will be like a chocolate, it's, it's called, I have it right now on my eyelids. I also have just a tiny bit of golden shimmer on the top, but you could see the bit 
outline of it. It's this beautiful, beautiful taupey color and the creaminess of it. I don't know, I don't think that you should spend a lot of money on cream eyeshadows because I find that, let's say, Revlon has amazing quality. So, I mean, this is pretty. And the last one, I got this Revolution makeup uh, palette. I don't know why I did it. Probably because I've been wearing a green coat for the past month and I don't really have any green eyeshadows and I saw this palette. And I saw this three green colors. This is more cool one. This is like dark grassy green and this is like a olive green. I only use this one, so I cannot tell you how I feel about this palette, but I find it very interesting. Revolution has normally okay, I mean, it's okay quality. I don't know, I haven't used it. I'm curious about these two shimmers. Just look how pretty they are. Let's swatch it. I even haven't swatched it. Let's swatch this green. Okay, what I see now, it has a lot of glitter. I prefer more creaminess to the glitter eyeshadows, not like glitter glitter, but look, it looks like this. It's not that bad though. I feel like as a topper, it will look pretty. So yeah, I don't know, let's see. It looks pretty though. It has like golden green uh, color. I'm curious about this one, like a terracotta sort of uh, orangey. And I'm curious about this mustard color. I'm just really curious how it's gonna come out. I feel like with this too, you can create a very pretty makeup. Like it's something different. And that's that. That's a lot. It turned out to be a lot of products. I should have split it maybe in two. Now we have the video for 20 minutes. I'm sorry, but okay. If you're interested, probably you won't even notice it. Okay, um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.